Hello YouTube, DJ Plays Games here, back again with another unboxing video. This is going to be the last one for a little while. Here we have the Elgato Game to Capture HD60. This is what I'm going to be using on my Xbox One and possibly on my computer to um, capture gameplay and post it on YouTube. Um, I've already taken the plastic wrap off just to make it easier. So it looks like a pretty straightforward box to open, so we're just going to dig right in. Comes in some pretty nice packaging. It should because it was $151 on Amazon, so you open it up, and it gives you instructions on how to hook it up, as well as this little tab with a couple of cables, what does it say, comes with a USB cord and an HDMI cable, this looks like this is the USB port, this is the HDMI, a little Elgato gaming sticker, and of course the unit itself, let's take a look at this. This is just a label of how everything works on the unit. So, looks like a pretty straightforward thing. Looking forward to hooking it up and seeing how good the video quality is. It's something that I'll do and will obviously be in the video when it's all edited and put together. Um, yep. Here we have the HDMI input, the USB to connect to the computer, and an audio input, which I'm assuming would be for chat, which I probably will not put in my videos, but we'll see as time goes on, and an output, which will go to the computer. So, alright, that was a pretty easy and straightforward boxing. Like I said, the build quality looks pretty good. Um, I'll see you in the next clip, in which I will have this all hooked up and I'll show you how it's hooked up in my jungle of wires forewarning and then um, I'll show you some gameplay alright so I've got the Elgato HD60 set up I'm gonna do my best to show you uh, how the wires are run here in this jungle of wires an area that I really need to dust um, so what I did is I took the cord that goes from the Xbox to the TV and I unplugged it from the Xbox this cord right here and I put it to the HDMI out part of the Elgato which goes directly into my TV right there then I took the HDMI cord that comes with the Elgato which is right there and I plug that into the Xbox then there's that USB port right there which goes follow it to the back of my computer over here which is even more of a tangled mess of wires um, so and that's basically how you set it up um, I've heard that just to do the um, computer setup you run it from the computer and then you tell the computer to duplicate the display and then you basically record the computer on itself so and then what you have is right now I'm doing Forza or I was doing Forza you have this display showing up as it's being recorded come on here even though right now I'm not recording alright guys it is uh, time for the gameplay portion of this uh, unboxing video um, so I've tried to make several um, takes of this clip, all of which including a webcam. Uh, and I contacted Elgato support wondering why I could not do that because every time the um, overlay was not coming out in the video or it, the whole thing was coming out as an encrypted file. Um, and Elgato support contacted me back saying that my computer does not meet the minimum specs to export a webcam overlay which kind of shocked me considering I have a um, a pretty high performance computer uh, however apparently you need an i7 uh, processor or comparable or higher to um, to do those spec or to to run the overlays so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to end up upgrading my computer 
over this weekend and see if that makes a difference. Um, so now it seems like I should be able to, uh, to get some gameplay in. However, there will not be a webcam overlay or a face cam showing me while I do this. So, but that's okay. So the way this is set up right now is I have, um, Forza Horizon 2. Um, I am playing that using a Logitech G920 racing wheel. So if I suck, you know why. Um, sound is being captured by a Blue Snowball microphone, which I have also done the uh, unboxing video on. You can find that on my channel. Um, what we're going to do is go into an online uh, free roam session, then probably find a race or a drag race or something. Do a couple races, get a good quality test of uh, the video capture, and then end this clip, since there's really not much else to show. I was hoping to really push this thing to the max and get a test of um, the video. However, my computer is not going to support that. So, but once this video is up, I will be able to finally put up gameplay videos, which I am more excited to do than anything. Turn around when it's safe <clears throat> to do so. So, what's going to be on this channel? Mostly is going to be gameplay videos of Forza Horizon 2 starting off and when Forza Horizon 3 comes out which is next week the pre-release date is uh, September 23rd which if I'm not mistaken is next Friday oh, I totally missed that sweet crap um, so the pre-release date is uh, September 23rd which is next Friday I will definitely be posting a video on that day because I do have the game scheduled to come in on the pre-release date. Um, <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, you can definitely also expect some Black Ops 3 gameplay. I may get um, uh, Infinite Warfare. I'm not totally sure if I want to do that or not yet. Um, like I said, uh, oh no, I haven't said that yet. I said it in every other clip that I've tried to make and upload, but it hasn't worked. Um, but I, I'm not a big fan of uh, the Infinity Ward versions of Call of Duty. I'm more I, I've liked the Treyarch versions better. But, so I will be posting Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos, Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, possibly some Minecraft videos. I do have Minecraft. I do play Minecraft. But not very often, and I really only do creative mode. But I could see uh, about doing some things in Minecraft. So if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, since this is a new channel, I'm pretty much open for any suggestions. Um, I can build this channel however viewers would want to see it. I'm pretty open for ideas. I like all kinds of games. Uh, racing and first-person shooter tend to be my favorite, but I'm open for everything. Um, there's this new game coming out next month, uh, based off of Friday the 13th, which I just found out about yesterday, and I am ecstatic for that game. Uh, it seems to be like a one versus seven, um, multiplayer game where one person plays as Jason and the other seven people are camp counselors. And it's like a hide-and-go-seek game, so I will definitely be pre-ordering that, and when that comes out, you can expect gameplay for sure on that. Um, probably several, several gameplay videos of that, up until Halloween, and maybe even after Halloween. So, uh, definitely, if you're just getting to this channel, which you should be, because this is a brand new channel, so nobody should have been to this channel before now, because uh, if you have been, you, you've been to the future where you're coming from in the future, and you're cool. But anyways, um, subscribe so that you can see those videos. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll do one more race here, because if you're going to get a gist of how the recording quality is, you would have gotten that by now. Um, I don't know. What else to say? Yeah, this, this channel, like I said, is going to be mostly gameplay videos. There'll be some some tutorials, some unboxing videos like that I've already posted. Uh, as soon as I get things figured out, I'll try and post more videos about how I run Elgato, um, my setup, and how all of that's going to work in the end. 
and uh, I will post a video of my computer and hopefully it'll get that i7 processor in there if I can get one for a good deal. Um, I am not made of money at the moment. I don't, I don't think I ever will be, to be quite honest. So if you're ever in the market for a racing wheel, I will be doing a review on this wheel. I already have an unboxing on my channel. But uh, if you're ever in the market for a racing wheel, um, this is an awesome wheel. It retails for $399.99. I picked it up on Amazon for... Um, I picked it up on Amazon for $239.99. And then I got the shifter and the stand that it's on separately. So in total it came out to be about $400. Uh, but I will be doing a review on this, but I'm just going to throw a quick plug in here. It makes any racing game incredibly fun. It might make you look like you suck compared to people who are using controllers, but once you get used to it, it it's pretty cool. So I have yet to actually do many races. Um, I've done uh, a bunch on solo mode, but I find myself having to rewind a lot because I'm still not used to the actual turning. I'm used to a controller where you hit the joystick left in your car turns left all the way whereas with this if you want to turn a sharp left you have to turn the wheel all the way around to, to turn left it's not just a little move to the left or a little move to the right so it is it's pretty cool it's an awesome simulation type wheel especially with the um, force feedback in it so all right I will do this race oh they have a they have one of those in um, s2 so I'm probably going to get screwed over in this race. Alfa Romero 33 Strad. Is it Stradale? Stradale? I don't, know. I don't really care. It's a cool car. And then this one. Both of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, look at this. This is like tear worthy. That was that was sad. This is what that was. All right. So I want to wrap up this video. Um, so you saw the unboxing. You saw the way that I have this set up. Uh, now you've seen the way that it records. I wish I could have had the webcam video recording at the same time. Unfortunately, my computer is not supporting that. But uh, I mean sometime soon I hope it does I am in the process of slowly upgrading my computer uh, and if that all works out um, I'll, I'll be posting videos with webcam and fit well face cam in it so that works out pretty well um, the leader of your party so yeah if you like what you're seeing on this channel so far definitely uh, give this video a like definitely subscribe so you can see more videos especially if you're gonna be interested in the gameplay for all those games that I mentioned, Forza, especially Horizon 3, uh, Black Ops 3, um, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, Friday the 13th, which I'm pumped for, anything like that. So if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to hate for that. And give me some constructive criticism in the comments. Um, so thanks for checking out this video. And until next time, and I will see you in the next video. Oh.